Monaco a little over eager to get things started. And now Velez Germain is complaining about the ball being a little flat. So an interesting start. And we have seen a record number of goals scored in this Champions League round of 16. How much more will we see tonight? Underway in the second leg. That's all they need is Caballero just there in front of Mbappe. If it's a two-goal win for Monaco, well, then it comes down to the math and the advantage they have with the three away goals. Man City, even a one-goal defeat. Or it and Sterling is fouled by Benjamin Mendy. Yeah, Mendy's coming in behind. It is a foul. He's on the arms. But look Tackle by Germain. Mbappe around one. Mbappe saved by Caballero. That is how quick Monaco can get themselves on the attack. It's inside of Sané. Mendy now from an angle sliding through his stones to block it. Silva's cross is turned in. Mendy there once more. Mbappe turns it in. Seven minutes played. And Monaco are halfway there. Well, Caballero came up big a few moments ago. The Manchester City defenders of Aguero this time. And Sané allow Mendy to go right in between. I think Mbappe is just onside. There's a couple players that are offside. Stones blocks first. But it's Silva that follows in, and there's Mbappe. Oh, Silva got caught there hard by Sonia. Yellow card, first of the night. Yeah, it's a poor throw by Caballero. Too far in front of him. Sonia really had no choice but to try. Fabinho rolled in, and Mbappe offside, flags up. And half the fans thought for a moment that Monaco had wiped away the deficit after just 15 minutes. Well, at 18. The pressure to win it back. Valer Germain trying his luck from distance, rising up over the bar. Monaco once again wins the ball in the middle field in the attacking third. And Germain has his sights set on goal. Good strike. No spin on the ball whatsoever. Just gets under it a little too much. That might Overlap now from Mendy, the left back. Coming back to cross, Fabinho is there! Square on aggregate, but Monaco, as it stands, advancing on away goals. The two-goal advantage, Man City worked so hard to get late in the first leg, evaporates inside of a half hour. Well, it was one of the first attacks Man City had had in quite a few minutes. De Bruyne nearly in. Raji with a really good tackle. Cleared up the field. And then they, they attack so quickly. They get the ball. To hold off Bakayoko. Jamerson backed off there. And gave Aguero the space for a moment. Then had to recover. Poking him behind. Man City's first corner of the game. And this time Aguero. He holds off. Who's it? Bakayoko gets himself into the box. Jamerson just times his tackle and toe pokes it away. And Zinho tracking him. Clichy steps in right in front of the assistant referee. Gianluca Rocchi just giving a warning. Lamar swung right on top of Caballero, got a strong punch to it. Yes, that's good, strong goalkeeping. Very, very good ball in. A lot of pace. Lamar. Fernandinho <laughs> again, the hard challenge. Heard the shout from Bernardo Silva. Really quick feet by Silva. And it, again, it was a foul. Came right through his shin. In the attacking third. And he gets the final touch of the first half. Kylian Mbappe and Fabinho, the goal scorers for Monaco, as it stands, advancing on away goal. Galeria. And the so Trying to accelerate on Fabinho. It's going to end up as Monaco's free kick. 
mean, Fabinho does a very good job of getting his body in between player and ball. Fernandinho just comes through the back of him, getting on to the substitutions of Monaco. Clichy trying to clip it in for David Silva. Subasic just there in time. Right down holding his leg. Hasn't had a whole lot to do with Daniel Subasic, the starter for Croatia's national team. No, but a good positive starting position comes out to collect that. This is footing. De Bruyne had Sterling making the run. He got caught inside. Sterling Aguero backs off into space. And it's cleared away by Regine. Saw that happening in slow motion there. Stones once again. Great work to win it back. David Silva clipping it in for Raheem Sterling. He's offside. Well, I think Sterling only had passed the ball. In. Fabinho pulled back by De Bruyne. Who gets a yellow card. Yes, and De Bruyne reached out his arm and just tucked them back. I don't think there's... Fernandinho got caught in the face as he was trying to get back to that deflected pass. Boy, Bakayoko is going to get a yellow card. He would be suspended for the first leg of the quarterfinal. Aguero able to keep it. Still Aguero poked away. What's the decision? Corner for Man City, second of the night. A lot of their attacks are coming down this round. Silva through for Sané. Raji trying to get there. Sané skips around him. Leroy Sané from the end line for Aguero. Couldn't turn it on frame. But they're getting closer. Yes, and like on the right-hand side was Sterling going forward much more. Here's Sané turning on a little bit of pace. You're clipping it in for David Silva. Flag is staying down. Raji trying to recover. Silva cuts him back. Rolls it along for Aguero. Well, Manchester City is knocking on the door. David Silva times his run to perfection. Definitely onside, then he cuts Raji here. And when he slides it through, you think it's a definite goal. Happened so far in the second half, it's been all this team. Silva for Sané, Subasic coming all the way out, and Sané went for goal. Just putting it in the outside netting. Well, again, it's Sané making a very good run from outside to in. It's a tight angle. Would have been difficult to find Aguero. Perhaps maybe on a pull back to the top of the box. Jamer said the defender trying to do just enough of allowing Suicic to come through and sweep it out for the fifth Man City corner of the night. Again, good goalkeeping by Suvisic. Perhaps could go down with his hands, but he didn't want to take any risks. He comes out, clears the danger. Gibrona working on Girmont. Drop it in for Sterling. Brought down well on Mendy. Raheem Sterling cutting in. Sterling's attempt. Saved by Suicic. Leroy Sané on the scene to package in the rebound. Man City back in the lead. All that second half pressure. And momentum finally paying off for Pep Guardiola's men. The well, words were definitely said at halftime about Sterling and Sané getting forward and the team finding them on their runs. A really good touch inside by Sterling. Decent shot to the far post. Not a lot of pace on the shot, which makes this rebound difficult to get far away from him. And who's on it first? The other winger, Sané. Guero, David Silva, corner. And again, Bernardo Silva, nowhere to go. Although Sterling caught him. And Raheem Sterling now would be suspended for the first leg of a quarterfinal if they get there. Juventus, Real Madrid, Dortmund, and Leicester sitting and watching this, seeing who will join him in the final eight as Fabinho's clipped up. De Bruyne is already on a yellow. Omar hooking into the top.
First career European goal for the 22-year-old Tiamoe Bakayoko. Kylian Mbappe coming off. What do you think about Mbappe being sacrificed for Moutinho? Well, Mbappe hasn't really had a kick in the second half. It was absolutely outstanding in the first half time. We'll stick Moutinho in the middle of midfield. Probably play with Germain up front on his... De Bruyne, the ensuing free kick. Up past everyone. Well, he'll be disappointed with himself because he has tremendous technique on the striking of the ball. Holds it in. De Bruyne weaving his way through. Just Potoy. No, it's going to be a foul and a free kick. Lamar thought he had got it cleanly. Time! One of the highest scoring series in Champions League history goes the way of Monaco. Advancing on away goals past Manchester City. Seventy-seventh minute goal.